Hey everyone, this is Jove and we're back with yet another emulation installation here. And today I'm going to show you CXBX Reloaded. Uh, last time we did XEMU for the original Xbox and now we're going to do CXBX Reloaded. I like to have both of these installed because sometimes one will play a game that the other just doesn't and they function different too. So first things first. I'm going to go ahead and download it here from cxbxreloaded.co.uk. I am going to leave the link in the description for this. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Pick the latest one. And download it. Another thing that's to note here is that it requires a 32-bit Visual C++ redistributable. So click this if you don't have it. It's going to go ahead and download it for you as well. We'll go ahead and install this. And this is very important because it does the 32 bit C++ redistributable. Most people, if you're already gaming, you're going to have the 64 bit already installed. This one needs the 32 bit. So we're done with that. We're going to extract this here. And here are all our files. Now, the one thing that makes this very different from XEMU is that this one, you do not need a BIOS file or a hard drive uh, image. So this one already kind of emulates it itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into downloads here and I'm just gonna rename the folder and I'm gonna cut it and place it where I have my other emulators. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to go ahead and make a shortcut to my desktop. I'm going to close it. Now we're going to open up CXBX. Use CXBX reloaded in portable mode. I prefer portable mode, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes. This way it saves all the information onto that one folder that we just moved into my emulation folder. And from here, uh, pretty much we'll, we can go into settings and I like to configure the video. Everything here this looks fine so far. We're not going to change anything until we test it out with the game. But we're going to change our input here. So I went ahead and plugged in my Xbox, uh, Xbox One controller into the system. And I like to do gamepad S here. I'm going to configure it and uh, you pretty much can just copy the Xbox layout. The only thing that's going to be different are the black and white buttons that you can go ahead and make the L button or right button. All right. And when you're done there, you can just name it and save it. This way, if you have like a PlayStation controller, all you have to do is plug it in and change your profile and your PlayStation controller will play right away. All right, and the next step is we're gonna open a game here. So to open a game, you wanna open XBE. And for this, I'm gonna go to where my ROMs are. And you need to have the hard drive ready games or Xbox here. And once you load it, you want to go ahead and hit start. Okay. And at this point, this is where I want to stop the emulation. So we're going to go ahead and hit stop because what you needed to do was launch it with a game so that now you could configure the EEPROM. And this is one thing I like to do. You can simply play the game as it is right now, but my video settings, I like to make it widescreen. And I like to click 480p. 480p is important because a lot of games run in 480p on Xbox original. And this is what you need to activate widescreen in certain games as well. 
So 480p with widescreen for the games that support it. We're gonna hit accept. And then we're gonna launch the game. This game in particular does not play widescreen. And for this, we can also change our resolution. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and upscale. So we're gonna go into configure video and I'm gonna go ahead and just make it 3X. A 3X is pretty safe from what I know to normally work and how I normally play the games. We're gonna start it again. It's gonna give us our video properties here. As you can see, it went almost full screen, but it's not full screen yet unless we hit alt and enter. Alt enter is pressed. Okay, I can't tell you guys exactly where to get them, but if you search in your favorite search engine, Xbox HDD ROMs, you may come across one that's uh, suitable for your needs. Now we're gonna open XBE. We'll go back to Xbox, hit our lot three. We'll hit yes. Gonna go ahead and start this one. So there you have it. This one was pretty quick and simple to set up. Pretty much just download it, make sure you find the ROMs, and then just start playing. One thing I'd like to bring to your attention here is that you may want to always check the compatibility of the games that you want to run. So this uh, website has actually made it pretty easy. You can just type in the name of the game that you want. For instance, Conquer's Bad Fur Day here. Just boots, doesn't play. If you do like Dead Or, you'll see all the Dead or Alive games. It shows you that they're playable. So come to this site and see which games you want to play that work. Uh, some of the in-game versions of the games work okay. And you could always try those out. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you found this helpful and you want to see more tutorials coming up on my secondary emulation PC, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.